different. Um, we're going to step aside from statics and we're going to begin doing some dynamic problems. Um, this will be from Hebler's uh, 13th edition, I believe. And we're going to be doing the same as before, just fundamental problems, right? Dynamics is a little bit more complex than statics, right? So you want to make sure that you fully understood statics before you jumped into this course, right? And it, in chapter 12, uh, it starts out very slow, uh, right? It kind of just does basic physics problems, but then it incrementally uh, gets uh, more complex and more complex, all right? So if you're in, taking this course right now during your semester, don't sleep, okay? Make sure you're paying attention because as soon as you step away from rectilinear motion, and you begin doing uh, curvilinear motion and then, uh, you know, motion in polar coordinates, that's when everything, all hell breaks loose and everyone gets lost, all right? So let's get started with this. Um, initially, the car travels along a straight road with a speed of 35 meters per second, right? If the brakes are applied and the speed of the car is reduced by to 10 meters per second in 15 seconds, determine the constant deceleration of the car. So we know you know, if we're going this way and we're going to decelerate, we should get a negative answer, right, for the, or let's say negative x, right, because we're going to get some negative um, acceleration, right, because we're trying to slow down. So, if we're trying to get the acceleration, you know, everything's derived from these equations. So, we're going to be using a lot of uh, calculus in this course versus statics, where we didn't really do much calculus. It was just all trig and geometry and, and such, right? So we can either go f at it like this, or if you're already, uh, I guess, well-versed with your uh, physics equations, we know that we can just use this equation, right? Which comes from here, right? So we can do A, D, T, D, V, right? And then integrate from 0 to T v0 to v final, right? And then you end up getting vf minus v naught, right? And then you get this equation. So let's just plug in what they give us. So they, the car reduced uh, v final was 10 meters per second, right? And v initial, he was going at, he was going 35 meters per second, right? So then we get a times time, so how much time did it take to get from 35 to 10? 15 seconds, they give us that, right? And here I don't have to do any unit conversions because everything is in meters per second and seconds, okay? So then when we uh, isolate the A, we end up getting, you know, minus 25 over 15, which is roughly uh, minus one point six seven meters per second squared all right and that's it and again this begins very slowly and it grows exponentially from here all right all right and i'll see you guys in the next video um hopefully this video begins to bring a lot of these um, uh, equations back up into your mind right um, but yeah give it a like and i'll see you in the next video thanks